टुडे वील स्टडी अबाउट द रोल ऑफ माइक्रोब्स एज बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स एंड बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स लेट अस बिगिन विद बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट इज बायो कंट्रोल मैथड बायो कंट्रोल मैथड मीन्स मैनेजिंग द नंबर ऑफ पेस्ट ओनली बाय बायोलॉजिकल मीन्स हेयर वी डोंट यूज एनी केमिकल्स बिकॉज केमिकल्स आर नॉन स्पेसिफिक दे इनडिस्क्रिमिनेटली किल यूजफुल एज वेल एज हार्मफुल इंसेक्ट्स एंड दे आर वेरी हार्मफुल फॉर अदर एनिमल्स ऑल्सो एंड दे पोल्यूट अवर वाटर बॉडीज एंड अल्टीमेटली मेक अवर सॉयल पी एच डिस्टर्ब एज अ रिजल्ट द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉयल इज रिड्यूज ड्रेस्टिकली सो दिस बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स or bio control mechanism is a part of organic farming in organic farming we deal with increasing the biodiversity in our field so that this biodiversity can control the harmful insects under restriction so we are not totally eliminating any insect which is a pest in fact we are managing its level because these pests they are the food of some useful insects which are helping for our pollination that's why if we eliminate these pests totally our pollinators will also be their number will go down drastically so this whole concept of bio control mechanism is the part of organic farming organic farming as you can see it is a very broad area which deals with various microbes at different levels directly or indirectly for example vermicompost making or farmyard making there also microbes are playing a big role very important role likewise these pests which are very harmful they are the food of many pollinators so these pollinators they feed on these insects and when they come for feeding those insects they do the pollination also so when we study the life cycle of these insects we can know which is a beneficial insect and which is a harmful insect for example aphid is a harmful insect but another insect feeding on these aphids that is lady beetle or lady bug bird is a useful insect when we use the chemicals we are killing both useful as well as harmful insects so this uh, organic farming is a part of integrated pest management program so in integrated pest management program we take various aspects of good agricultural practices like soil preparation using good seeds monitoring the growth of different um, useful and harmful insects then using only certified seeds using bio control agents and so many other methods now let us focus only to microbes now you must have heard about bt brinjal bt cotton here bt stands for a bacteria bacillus thuringiensis this bacteria has the ability to produce a special type of crystal protein this crystal protein when it is consumed by certain larva of harmful insects these crystal protein have got protoxin when this protoxin enters the gut of these insects or larvae the alkaline medium converts the protoxin into active toxin as a result these larvae are killed so these cry proteins are insect specific they are killing only the harmful insects they are not harmful for our herbivores and useful insects 
so nowadays new research has made the transgenic crops where like bt cotton and bt brinjal where we have integrated the gene of these bacteria into the plant as a result these plants have become resistant these are called genetically modified crops they are not attacked by these insects therefore we can say that these microbes are really helping the agriculture sector one other good example is trichoderma it is a fungus but it also protects our crops from very harmful insects same way there is a virus called as baculovirus this baculovirus especially the species nucleo polyhydrovirus they are the species specific for certain harmful insects they kill only those harmful insects and they are non toxic to other useful insects and other animals and plants so we can say all these microbes along with the useful insects come under the biocontrol agent and the integrated pest management so this area is coming up and microbes are really playing a very important role now let's come to the role of microbes as bio fertilizers these when we rely mainly on chemicals in long run these noxious chemicals even pollute our water bodies and even our ground water these chemical fertilizers are very nutrient specific so they help in the growth of the crop but in long run they are harming so again the alternative is organic farming you can see sir albert howard who is known as the father of organic farming he had suggested the microbes as bio fertilizers we can see there are certain bacteria blue green algae and fungi which are good source of nutrient specific elements for example there are so many nitrogen fixing bacteria you must have heard and these nitrogen fixing bacteria they are converting the atmospheric nitrogen which is non usable form by the plant into usable form the most common nitrogen fixing bacteria is rhizobium which remains in symbiotic association with the roots of legume plants so this rhizobium converts the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates which can be readily used by the roots likewise these rhizobium are very good and they are enriching the soil same way there are some non symbiotic bacteria like azospirillum or azobacter they are free living bacteria they are also fixing nitrogen and converting this nitrogen into ammonium which can be usually used used by the plants likewise there are so many these uh, be- these bacteria can be used very readily with so many crops very u- um, commonly like our wheat our rice and our nat- normal crops likewise there is blue green algae so many blue green algae like nostoc anabina oscillatoria oscillatoria they are also very good source of nitrogen they have specific structures called as heterocyst these heterocyst have the ability to fix the nitrogen there is a special type of anabina which is uh, present in a pteridophyte called azola so it re- remains in symbiotic association with azola and fix fixes the nitrogen in the water bodies so this anamida can be very commonly used in rice fields paddy fields and it grows 
the crop very much it's a rich source of nitrogen so these blue green algae or the cyanobacteria are also a very good source of biofertilizers same way apart from the bacteria there are many fungi also these fungi most commonly are of glomus species or glomus genus they remain in symbiotic association with the roots of higher plant and it is called as mycorrhiza these fungi they are a very good source of phosphorus and phosphorus enables the plants to grow very healthy roots and these protect it from root borne pathogen and also the metallic contamination salinity and rot so these fungi are also very good source of uh, the uh, other micronutrients and it remains in symbiotic association and gets the food from the plant so we can see that these microbes when they are used judiciously in agriculture they can be of great use and they can help in reducing our dependence on chemical fertilizers and pesticides so these biofertilizers should be promoted and it is also the part of